And how's my favorite little customer on this hot summer night? You feel that south wind blowing up Saginaw Highway? All hot and dry, smelling like the smog that usually stays way down in the valley? That means it's going to be a scorcher. So make sure you stay hydrated tomorrow, which is the opposite of drinks like this, as you know. Rough day. I suppose I can relate. I admire you for sticking it out, though. For what it's worth, I could never myself. I never took to working, and I paid for it. I'm surprised you don't have anywhere better to be. What I wouldn't give to be your age again. All alone, just before sunset, in the dog days of summer. You sure there's no pretty guy out there? Just waiting on you to show up at his door and ask if he's too busy for a little dancing. No guy? Is there a girl? Hmm. A good looking little thing like you with no place better to be than my little hole in the wall bar. Makes me wonder what you're really after. I don't suppose you're here for my pretty face either. Drink up, kid. It's on the house. Finish it up and leave. Don't come around here no more. Don't, don't give me that look. It's not anything you did. Listen, you're a good kid. You don't want to hear this, but you're innocent. Pure as fresh fallen snow. I'd kill to get half of that innocence for myself. I know you figured out that my regulars are all criminals or ex-cons. They come in here to take a load off. Or sometimes talk shop. I don't care about them. They're all too far gone for someone like me to be able to pull them back. But I can stop you at least. This isn't a place for somebody like you. So finish your drink and leave. You remind me of a younger me. A dissatisfied, ambitious young blood. Who felt like they weren't going to get anywhere in life unless they were willing to take serious risks. I spent a lot of time in a place just like this. Trying to rub elbows with the people I thought I looked up to. I told you all the stories before, but... What the hell? Maybe you forgot. It took a while, but I got in and I was pretty good at it. Real good. There was a time not too long ago where I ran this whole neighborhood. Ran the numbers game for a while. I was safe, but the returns weren't the millions I dreamed of, so I moved on to more dangerous stuff. Turned out I was good at that too. Too good. People got hurt. I need you to understand that. I hurt people. A lot of people. More than I ever got punished for. And it got me what I wanted. Power, money, respect, fear. It couldn't last though. You can never be on top all the time. The sheriffs and the steadies couldn't touch me, but I got sloppy with my money and the revenues locked me up. That's typically how it goes. I spent 10 years in Terra Honey. Eight behind bars, two working at the baking powder factory. When I got back to Tuner Flats, everything I built was just gone. All I had left was this building. I'd never even been inside before. I just used it to launder money. You ever spend any time in prison? I know you're aware it's not a fun time, but you know what really kills you? It's not the gangs or the guards. It's the... Boredom. Time slips away from you, but it also seems to pass so slow that it's like trying to carve your name in dry cement. You try to keep your feet on the ground, but you can't all the time. You get up in the morning at 6, get counted at 6.15, eat your oatmeal at 6.30, grab a full eight assembling office furniture for the feds. Two hours of rec time, outside if you're really well behaved, eat dinner, Green jello on Fridays, red jello on every other day. Med inspection, choose between the library or the movie, go to your bunk, lights out. I went mad for most of year four. 
Came back around to something close to sanity in year six. I never really fully recovered, though. I can't... I can't really complain, I suppose. I deserve to be in there. A lot of people have been in there a lot longer for a lot less. Here, I want you to try something. This is a brand of chips they had in the canteen up there in Indiana. You can't normally get this brand outside of prison. I picked up a few bags on eBay because every now and then I find myself craving it. They're flavored with whatever flavor dust the day shift at the chip factory didn't use up, so they've got a lot going on. Try a couple. <laughs> kind of gross, right? Way too much flavor, and it all clashes weird. So like licking the floor at a Dollar General. But believe me, they hit pretty differently when you're wearing orange and black. When everything feels and looks the same day in and day out, you start craving sensation. Any sensation. This absolute overload of flavor felt like heaven. The closest I ever saw to a riot was the Saturday they opened the canteen without a fresh stock of these. You go a little crazy in there, just looking for anything to silence that steady drum beat of monotony. I got really into the Twilight books when they were coming out. I know somebody who spent a long time in solitary who spent their time touching cold metal, waiting for it to get warm, letting go, and touching it again when it got cold again. Anything to break up the void. When I look back on those two years when I was on top of the world, they weren't worth it. They weren't worth my time in Indiana. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes I did. My dad won't even talk to me now. <laughs> he was a nurse down at the VA clinic on Cleveland Boulevard. It's closed now. I think they tore it down and built a Costco. Back when I was a kid, it was still seen as emasculating for a man to take that job. But he was good at it. And it paid enough for him to raise me on his own after Mom died. And I felt ashamed, though. He was a good, honest man, and I spent my childhood ashamed of him. And then threw away everything he ever gave me to pursue life as a big shot. I tried to visit him the other day. He lives in a trailer park on the other side of the old Highway 9 way down in the valley now. I could see him in there, on his chair, watching the hockey game. And he could see me. I knocked, we made eye contact, but he never stirred from his chair. Suppose I'm dead to him. I don't blame him. I just wish to God I wasn't. So, finish that drink and leave. If I see you around again, I'll break your arms. You're not in the market for a life of crime. Why do you come around then? I know it's not for the drinks. I can't mix a cocktail to save my life. And I know it's not for the company. What? Are you an undercover cop or something? <laughs> my stories. <laughs> you're pulling my leg. And I'm just dumb and full of shit. Next thing, you're gonna say you got some sort of crush on me. No. No. No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at me. I've got years on you. I've got calluses from the prison shop and dark circles around my eyes that won't go away no matter how much I try to sleep. My hands are cold and my face is sad. You deserve some passionate young somebody full of life with stars in their eyes. Mine are just empty and tired. I don't have passion in me anymore. Hell, I don't even do anything anymore. All I want to do at the end of the day is make myself some oatmeal and watch the rerun channel. You can do better. You can do a lot better. Uh, I really can't talk you out of it. Well, who am I to deny you the right to make terrible choices? You can't say I didn't warn you about me. Damn fool. I'll tell you what. This place is dead tonight. What do you say we go dancing? On one condition. You stop hanging around here. If this works, it works. And we'll hang out someplace else. 
If it doesn't, I don't need you floating around here like a sad little puppy. Deal? Go back home and clean up a bit. I'll go upstairs and do the same. It's ballroom night at the Falcon's Lodge. I haven't danced in ages, and I want to see if I've still got it. We'll see where that south wind takes us from there. I'll see you in an hour, on the dot. If you panic now and stand me up, I might straight up break your legs. Don't get up. I just couldn't sleep. This happens a lot. That's why the bed is so close to the window. When I can't sleep, I like to just sit up against the bedpost and stare. Don't worry about me. Just get some rest. You're not good with instructions, are you? Well, welcome to the world at four in the morning. Hmm. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? I usually sleep a lot better with you here. I almost got a full aid last time. <laughs> you better be careful. Leaving that hand of yours all unprotected right here. Somebody might snatch it up. Don't worry, though. I'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. The same thing with that shoulder of yours. Letting all that space go unused like that. That's a real shame. I think I'll just rest my head there for a minute. This is nice. I've never had this in my life before. <laughs> and I don't actually know how to handle it. I've had relationships, don't get me wrong. But they always felt like distractions from what I really wanted to be doing. With you, though, I actually enjoy being around you. That night I took you out dancing. I smiled and laughed so much my face was sore. It genuinely almost hurt. You were so shy and embarrassed that you didn't know how to dance. But once you got the hang of it, you bled confidence. You glowed. And when we kissed, it was like lightning and rain. It was magic. <laughs> God, you really can't see it, can you? Just how perfect you are. Why is that? Low self-esteem? I mean, I guess it's good for me. If you could see what I see, you'd never even look twice at a guy like me. Or, hmm, do we have a thing for older guys? And then once again, we resort to silence as confirmation. <laughs> I figured. I have to admit, I suppose I do clean up pretty damn good. Honestly, I probably look better now than I did at your age. I got that sadness in my eyes. That sense of depth. I probably look like I write poetry. <laughs> You're really cruel, you know that. Oh, you act all cute, so innocent and sweet, but you're so selfish and cruel. You've ruined me, and you don't even realize it. That's how selfish you are. Know why? You, you damn thing. You give me hope. But life was so much simpler when I was just chugging along, going through the motions. Not thinking about yesterday or tomorrow any more than I had to. Then you had to show up. Now I find myself drifting off at work, thinking about you. I think about building a life with you. Getting a jeep, a dog, a cottage out in Crystal Township on some low-rent lake. I picture myself coming home from work, to you patching up the yard or the deck, and just smiling. Sometimes I even picture myself down at St. Clem's, wearing a perfectly fitted tuxedo. Seeing you before me. My dad smiling in the background. Then the barroom doors open, and I remember that can't happen. Suddenly the whole world smells like burning tires again. Don't tell me otherwise. If I didn't have the bar, I'd be out on the streets. I got no prospects. You know how hard it is to get a job when you're an ex-con. I can't get loans. My credit score is permanently capped. 
No, I can't even vote. I go to a support group at St. Clement's every Thursday, and a lot of those guys have it pretty rough. I made it out well compared to them. At least I got a place to lay my head. You need to realize that if you're serious about this, we can't have that Instagram perfect life together. If I told you any different, I'd be a liar. We can't have a house out in the East Hills. We can't have six kids and drive an Escalade and cuddle on the couch watching sitcoms. Hell, a trailer down in the valley and a Ford Fiesta are probably out of reach. I can't offer much more than this. I really can't give you what you deserve. I have trouble believing this is real sometimes. Back in prison, I'd, I'd have these elaborate daydreams. I'd imagine entire lives for myself just to get out of the monotony. And sometimes being around you feels like one of them, one of those dreams. That wedding we went to last week. Remember how I always had my hand on your shoulder? I was always playing with your hair, kind of messing your clothes up a bit. That wasn't a dominance thing. That wasn't a marking my territory kind of thing. Although, I could tell you kind of liked thinking it was. It was because I wanted evidence that you were really there and that I was really allowed to kiss you, to touch you, that I can interact with you, that I'm not just dreaming. Sometimes when it's dark and I'm alone, I'll just say your name out loud, like a spell. I got it bad for you. You really don't know. I just wonder sometimes, what do you get out of this? You see over there, those church spires? Way, way out there. That's East Hill, the good part of town. Every morning, the sun is going to peek over those spires and through this window. It's going to find me here on the bed in the bad part of town every morning. And every morning, there's going to be a little more silver in my hair. Ain't nothing going to change that. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me with your warm, bright eyes. Take it all in because this is all you're ever going to get if you stay with me. I know you see me as this dark and mysterious figure, but this is me. This is my life. I'm not hiding anything from you. I've never been anything but honest and open. One benefit to my time behind bars is that I'm no stranger to my own soul. I'll never promise you anything I don't have in me. I promised myself when I got out of prison I'd never lie to anybody ever again. And the truth is that, is that I'm not enough. Hey, 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 hey. I know you're not perfect either. No need to list your own flaws. No, don't talk yourself down like that. It's starting to sound like... <laughs> like me. <laughs> ah, damn. Just when I think I've got you all figured out every time. You got me. I'm sorry. I guess I've been putting you up on a pedestal and uh, that's not fair, is it? I don't have the right to second guess your choices. You're an adult too. And we don't have as big of an age gap as I make it out to be. And you've had your own experiences, your own scars. You're no fool. But tell me, what do you really see in me? Beyond the obvious fact that I'm fine as hell. Really? Self-knowledge is pretty attractive, I suppose. I guess I can't argue with that. I just never would have guessed. It's very thoughtful of you. Always full of surprises. That's probably what I like about you the most. <sighs> Let me hold you for a while. I want to hear your heartbeat. I want you. I want you in my life so bad. It hurts how bad I want you. I thought my soul was dead, but you reached in and broke the chains I'd wrapped it in. Thanks to you, my heart feels like it's beating again. And it aches. You have to understand. I'll never forgive myself if you wake up in this bed ten years from now, turn over and look at me and find yourself full of regrets. I can feel your heart flutter tonight, but will it feel this way a year from now? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be tonight or tomorrow, but I still want you to think about what I've just told you. Hmm. For now, though, 
Let me savor this moment. I want to be able to come back here when I close my eyes. Don't talk. I told you. Just think on it. No need to rush, babe. Time is on your side. I'm not going anywhere. He wasn't in there, was he? I don't think he's coming, kid. Hey, it's not your fault. I can't believe you even found him. I really appreciate that you tried to invite him to dinner. Hey, hey, don't apologize. I'm amazed we got this far. I can't believe you even found my dad. I never even told you where he lived. How did you... He goes to the same church as your grandma. Wait, which one? The one in the suburbs that's really into football or the one that was at the wedding? Wait, wait, does he go to the same church they held that in? The one you go to sometimes? Huh. Never saw him as a gospel choir kind of guy. Our family was orthodox, but he stopped going to church after mom died. Hmm. I'm glad he started again. I think that would have meant a lot to her, even if it's not the same one she took us to. <laughs> so, what? You just ambushed the guy at Sunday service? Just popped up and said, Hey there, Mr. Stojanowski, I'm dating your son, who you won't talk to anymore, and I'm hoping to reconcile you two. Want to meet us at the Chinese place for dinner? <laughs> oh my god, you did. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> That's probably why he didn't show. You put him on the spot and he panicked once the day came. He was always a shy person. The only time he ever gets fired up is during a good hockey game. Hey, I don't blame you. I really appreciate this. I'm really glad that you tried to get him out here to reconcile us. That took guts, and it's worth more to me than you know. <laughs> Come here. Lay your head on my shoulder. We can wait a while longer. Let's give him another few minutes. Then we'll go in for takeout. I want you to know you don't have to do anything to prove yourself to me. You don't need to make any kind of grand gesture or wild display of love. Just you being in my life is enough. You've already proven yourself to me a thousand times over. Oh, shut up. I mean it. All that work you did to help me renovate the bar was a real godsend. But even with the new loan I got from that ex-con program, I'd never have been able to do it alone. <laughs> You're pretty handy. Remember how I almost fried myself when we set up the karaoke machine? Then you showed me how it was done safely. I'd never have gotten any of the renovations done without you. We started attracting new regulars and we're making a lot more than we ever used to. I'm still serving a sketchy crowd, but they're not really criminals anymore. Maybe a little rowdy, but nothing we can't handle. Yeah, we... I, uh, I've actually hired a second bartender. Remember that cute chubby girl I was talking to at the hardware store the other night? She's my new bartender. I stole her away from the Applebee's on 23rd and Lincoln. She's great. Even taught me how to mix drinks better. You'd really like her. I'll have to take you in sometime and have her help me mix you up something. And with her running the show, little old me can spend a little more time with little old you. Oh my god, you're blushing. No, 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 don't stop. It's adorable. Yeah, and now you're hiding your face and curling into a ball. <laughs> what did I do to deserve an innocent little puppy like you? I, I really can't believe it. You beautiful, perfect thing. My life never turned out the way I'd hoped, but things are finally looking up for me, and I owe a big part of that to you. Without you, I'd still be going through the motions and waiting to die. You taught me how to be happy again, how to hope again, 
I've been going out and actually doing stuff. I actually learned the name of the old guy who owns the laundromat next door. I saw him every day now for like five years and never even spoke to him. And now we're on the same bowling team. <laughs> I've got hobbies now, even. Taking up crochet. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I know winter's coming soon, so I made you this scarf. Hmm. As much as I love cuddling you back to room temperature, I'd rather you stay warm out there. Here. Do you like it? It's probably my fifth try to get a scarf right. It's even in the city colors. Yes, I nailed it. Now, you better wear it, alright? If you put all this work into making me develop feelings for you, only to freeze to death on me, I'll be really pissed off. I'll literally climb into heaven and drag your ass back down. You know all this hope scares me. It scares me a lot. I've never realized how much hope can physically hurt. Yeah, there's a physical ache right here. I'm vulnerable now. I've let my heart into a place where it can be broken. The new bartender doesn't know my past. Neither does the bowling team or the crochet circle that meets at the library. Would they still like me if they found out I once broke a guy's hand with a brick? Can I really claim a place for myself out there in the light? <laughs> Sorry. I guess I'm being dramatic. I'll cross that bridge if I ever get to it. It's not like I'm the only one to ever do wrong. I was really hoping he'd come. You don't understand how badly I wanted to see him. Or maybe you do, I guess I shouldn't assume. I just really miss him. I want him to hug me like he did back then. To tell me it's alright. I wish I'd never listened to those kids at school. Of all the things I've done, the way I treated my dad was probably the worst of them all. I don't know if I can ever reconcile with him. And the fact that he agreed to come gives me some hope, though. Like I always tell you, I have time. Maybe one day he'll at least look at me again. I try not to get too involved with your personal life, but from what I can tell, you and your dad get along really well. Your mom, too. Believe me, they might be overbearing, but if you have a good relationship with mom and dad, learn to treasure it. It really is such a hard thing to get in life. So few people I know can say they have it. <clears throat> Speaking of your personal life, though, maybe I should get more involved in it. I hate to admit it, but I feel like whenever we're together, I make it about me. Next time, I want you to take me to your places. Show me what the city looks like through your eyes. Maybe next time you go to church, then take me too. <laughs> no. If you're crazy enough to stay with me, then I need to know even more about you. <laughs> Why don't you try being the cool, mysterious one for once? I think you play the part better than I do. I want to see all the gory little details. I'd also like to meet your family sometime. I think they should know what you've gotten yourself into. Your mom sounds really sweet, and your dad seems like a cool guy. I want a chance to win them over, and I want to meet the people behind the best thing in my life. <laughs> I was trying not to get too entangled in yours, just in case you decided to break it off. I've given you multiple chances to run away, though, and you haven't taken any of them. So I think it's time I started acting like a real boyfriend. Maybe I should start giving you pet names, acting all dramatic, take cute little selfies with you and put them on whatever phone app the kids are using right now, flop on your lap and beg for your attention while you're playing video games. Oh, sweetie boopkins, can I have your Doritos? <laughs> oh god, I can't do it. <laughs> you're gonna have to live without that kind of affection. I think you know that though. Thanks for being here with me. It's such a pretty night and I want to spend it with you. So will you stay with me tonight? Come on, babe. Let's get some food. 
I haven't had hot and sour soup in too long a time. It's on me. Oh my god, I'm actually doing this, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually getting married. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I already put on the suit, clean shaved, I'm absolutely incredible. I can go out there, I can face them. All I have to do is go out there and say, I do, and kiss them. I'm going to grab the greatest thing in my life and I'm never going to let it go. I'm allowed to be happy. I'm allowed to be happy. I'm allowed to be happy. I can put the past behind me. Oh, I'm allowed to be happy. I can't believe I'm here. It seems so unreal. It seems just like a dream. Oh my god, none of this is real, is it? The bells are gonna ring and I'm gonna wake up in my bunk back in Indiana. There's no way this could be real. I dreamt it all up, didn't I? Nobody like that could love somebody like me. I can't just be forgiven like this. This has to be a dream. This isn't real. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Get a grip. Focus on something you can touch. This rose is white. It has thorns. It smells soft. It is beautiful. I'm just afraid to be touched. I'm on the ground. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my god, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> this isn't right. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You can't see me like this. <laughs> huh. No, no, don't pull me in. I'm gonna get snot all over you. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. You can't go through with this. You can't do this to yourself. I'll only let you down. I know you see something in me, but I, I just can't. I'm so afraid that I'll hurt you. I can't go through with this. You have to walk away. I'm old and I'm tired and life passed me by long ago. And you are so warm and so kind and wonderful. You, you can't pick me. It's not right. It's not fair. I hurt people. I caused so much pain. I need to be punished for what I did, not rewarded with you. I don't understand what you mean. I have to choose. <laughs> of course, I choose to be with you. But it's not that simple. I want you. I want you so bad it hurts. I can't imagine my life without you in it. Not anymore, but you can't. I can't drag you down with me. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know we've talked about this. I just... I can't shake this idea that you'd be so much happier if you broke it off with me. I know it's crazy. I, I'm just so scared. I'm so afraid that you'll wake up 10 years from now and regret your choice. I'm only going to get older. My hair is only going to get more gray and my skin is only going to wrinkle up more. I spent my best years in prison and it messed me up. I'm, I'm broken. And, it, and it's all my fault. I'm better than I think I am. I'm better than I think I am. I need to choose to be happy. I need to choose to give myself mercy. That's what my therapist told me to say. I'm glad you pushed me to start seeing her. She's really helped. The only one who can forgive my sins is me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm making this about me again. You have every right to love me, and I have every right to love you. Please just 
hold me for a moment. You look incredible today. Just incredible. So much better than I imagined. And I imagined a lot. Do I look okay? <laughs> stop. Stop, please. Don't compliment me. I can't take it. I don't know why I asked. You're too damn sweet. I don't know how we grew up on the same fucking planet. If I'd have known you as a kid, I'd have beaten you up every day. Taking your lunch money and everything. Probably would have still fallen in love with you, though. It's so weird to think about the past when I'm with you. Everything has changed, and it's only you that matters. You give me hope. I don't think you realize how painful hope can be. At least for somebody like me. I don't know if you can understand just how much it hurts to hope after so many years of despair. It's like I'm some slimy worm that lived under a rock and you came along and pulled the rock away. And now the light burns. Allowing myself to hope is allowing myself to hurt. It's two sides of the same coin. One of the guys that worked for me back in the day said that hope is just the setup for a joke. And the punchline is when it's ripped away from you. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I love it. Even the pain. It's just I'm so afraid. <laughs> can, you, can you believe it? Big scary criminal BF is afraid. <laughs> it's true. I've never been so afraid. I've been shot at. I've been shanked. I've never been this scared. Look at me. Look at me with those warm, bright eyes and promise me that I'm really what you want. I know you've said it, but just for me. Say it one more time, and I'll never question you again. I'll go out there, give you the greatest kiss of your life, and I'll dance with you until the stars go dim. I'll leave the past behind me, and I'll take whatever the world gives us. A new me, and the same old you. Together. But I want to hear it one more time. Tell me you want me one final time. And I'm yours. Body and soul. I promise I'll never question you about this again. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> That's a preview of the big one. <laughs> you better get ready. Because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>